Hello and welcome to another update video about NIA. On the NIA chart, we continue to be, well, we hold this support area. Uh, the orange support zone is basically, yeah, still holding and the definition is between 468 and 660 with, as mentioned in previous videos, an ideal support level or ideal target for a fourth wave 545, which has now been reached. So basically all I'm doing now is watching for reaction in this um, area. That's what I like to see to get one more high um, to $11.30 plus basically. So $11.37 is the next resistance level. And then we have the $11.80 level, which is the 100% extension. So the WXY pattern here is um, possibly nearly complete. I have no evidence though that it is, so I cannot rule out one more low to possibly test 468. But analysis tells me that below 468, I have to favor that a top is in place I can't justify then that this is still a way for, yeah. So that's the thing with this uh, structure. Hasn't given us yet any signal that a low is in place. Formed a bit of a triangle there. Uh, as I often say, these triangles, they tend to break the other way, which is why I showed you also the WXY pattern. Um, but either way, you know, that's the advantage of the Fibonacci analysis. Even if a triangle breaks to the downside, we know that from an Elliott Wave point of view, it could still be the same scenario a way for as long as the support region is holding and the 50% Fibonacci level is really the pivot between bullish momentum and bearish momentum. We have this situation on several charts now that it looks more like a WXY pattern and this here is an ABC in wave Y, which could be finished at any point, um, but hasn't given us any evidence that it is complete. So basically in the C wave, one, two, three, four, five, basically one more low seems um, one more low seems at the moment likely, but this is just sort of, you know, basically until support breaks, uh, sorry, until resistance breaks. So what is the resistance level? The first resistance level that we can watch for is the 50% retracement and it's here at $6.25. Yeah, $6.25 and that's the key level. If we get a break above that level, we have at least an indication that a low of sorts is in place it could still morph into a more complex, I don't know, WXY, XZ pattern or something. But then as soon as we break above 625, we can explore the idea that a low is in. Shouldn't really talk about that before that. Um, all I can share with you, we've reached the ideal, let's say, support for a fourth wave. Any break above 625 would indicate that um, we are getting to the next high at 737 and then 775 and 810. Okay, these are the next levels basically. These are the next levels. And if, the, if, they, if these lines break, yeah, I mean, especially the wave B high, 775, that would be a solid indication that the low is in. Best, what we would like to, well, what we would really like to see to suggest a low is in is an initial five wave move up above resistance followed by a three wave pullback which could present the next opportunity maybe to jump onto the train because then we have a first level of confirmation a low might be in, but it would need to be five waves above 625. Um, and then we could uh, yeah, argue that the fifth wave is unfolding against this last low. At the moment, as long as we see only such a weak reaction, which looks, to be honest, a little bit like a bearish flag. So the market seems to be moving towards that resistance area now. Um, actually, it might be worth adding the 23.6 FIP level because it's normally the first level, but it would be a very weak way for. Um, so the market seems to be moving in this resistance area now. And as long as we don't see any you know, convincing price action to the upside, one more low should be favored, or at least we need to consider the risk of another low, given that also the move up looks very choppy, very corrective. So no five waves up yet and no break above resistance yet, but these are the parameters we can be watching. That's my update about Nier. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.